guys welcome back to my channel um, today I am preparing some grilled chicken uh, for dinner and it is a very simple recipe I am going to take you step by step on how to make this it doesn't take any time at all so if you want to put a quick dinner together this would be the perfect recipe because it doesn't take any time at all and you can actually prepare this marinade beforehand put it in like a Ziploc bag, um, refrigerate it, so whenever you're ready, um, you can take it out for lunch or dinner. This would be really good if you are gonna be meal prepping on like Sunday evenings, and um, just put it in the Ziploc bag. Um, it will be ready to go for the week. Um, that way you won't waste any time trying to cut everything and marinate and get all the spice mixes. So this is really good if you just uh, do it in advance. Um, but today I just went ahead and did it fresh so you guys can see uh, for the purpose of this video and also since we're gonna have dinner. Things for this recipe are chicken breast, paprika, turmeric, oregano, olive oil, chili lime seasoning, also some lemon pepper seasoning, chicken rub, garlic, mint. I used some fresh garlic in this recipe so I went ahead and used my motar and pestle to smash up some fresh garlic and I have all my spices ready to go. I have my chicken breasts thawed out and they are drained and they are patted dry and ready to go. And before we get into it guys, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I am also available on these social media platforms so definitely go ahead and check me out there as well. So let's get started. thing you wanna do is take a handful of mint and go ahead and chop those up, roughly chop, it doesn't have to be perfect, and just get them as fine as you can get it. The mint leaves are going into a marinade, so you don't want to be eating big mint leaves. So to get the marinade all going, we need our garlic that we just mashed up, also our mint leaves that we chopped up just for now, also some paprika. We're also going to add some turmeric, and after that, we are going to add our chicken rub. You just need a little bit of everything. These spices do have salt, so just know that I didn't add any salt to this. Um, the chili lime seasoning, oregano, and the lemon pepper already has salt, so I do not need to add more salt. So after I went ahead and put all the seasoning in, I went ahead and mixed it up with my hands. After you're done, wash your hands, and then go ahead and add some olive oil. Don't put the olive oil before you put the marinade. That is very important, so the spices will adhere to the chicken. So if you are preparing this marinade for future use throughout the week, then you are done here. You can just put it in a Ziploc bag and freeze it and just use it whenever you're ready to use it. Um, I'm going to cook up dinner today, so that's why I have my griddle hot. I sprayed it with some non-stick pan and went ahead and put my chicken on it. You want to go ahead and make sure that you cook it um, for on each side, probably like for five minutes or so. Um, just keep an eye on it. These are thinly sliced. Um, they're not the full, um, like one whole piece of chicken. So these are cut in half. So they're pretty thinly sliced and they will cook through pretty quickly. Um, I do have a hand press that I'm going to put on top of, like a meat press. So I'm gonna put that on top um, just to give it a little bit more pressure once I go ahead and turn the chicken. Um, because they are cooking in the open like range, I don't have any cover on this. So basically my hand press will act as a cover and it will put pressure on the chicken and it will cook thoroughly from the inside and it will also be uh, putting those uh, grill marks on and I love this pan. I found it for 20 bucks and I'm just so happy for it because it is non-stick and I've used it to grill like eggplants and pineapples and stuff like that and it has not stuck to the pan so always try to invest in one of those really good pans and everything turns out perfect no matter what you cook in it. For a little bit of spice, not too much, uh, again my kids are going to eat this so I put a little bit of uh, pepper flakes on it, these are dry pepper flakes and um, you can do this or you can admit it, it's really up to you but this is just to give it a little bit of a kick. And also I am plating this with a poached egg or kind of like fried, I kind of steamed it really. Um, just kept the yolk intact. I did not want to go ahead and break that up. Um, my son likes it this way so I went ahead and plated it with some white basmati rice and put my chicken breast on top and also the poached egg. Poached or fried? I don't know, it's in between. For garnish, I just used a little bit of mint and we are done. It's ready to eat. We are gonna have some dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys give this recipe a try and let me know how it turned out for you. And I hope you guys um, have a good night. Um, we were gonna go eat. I'll see you guys on another one. Bye.